Um, and originally I thought, well, maybe I could just do one hole. And against Glenn's better judgment, I drove, tried to drive home. And he didn't think I should. But, you know, low and slow wasn't ready at that time, so. It would have cost money. Because <laughs> it's so much cheaper. Well, it's uh, like your brother will tell you. Lots of times, saving a dollar is not the answer. Mike Chamberlain here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the blog. So we've got Duke inside. I've got the hood flipped open. I was, uh, you know, after washing them up, I sprayed this down with some uh, uh, brake clean. And um, yeah, we're going to pull the valve cover off, see what we can see in there. Maybe pull the pan off, see what we can see in there. Um, I was mucking around last night because this, um, well, this piece is corroded and cracked and it's right there where the mirror goes. So I'm gonna clean that up. I mean, it's not a priority, but there was some staining here. So I used a little bit of my etching acid to um, clean that minerals off, corrosion, I guess. Um, finished getting some of the glue off. So it's nice and smooth. Um, I do need to use some of the etching acid on the stack shields, but um, it wasn't a really a priority at the moment. But uh, And it's kind of annoying because some of those decals kind of stained the paint, which is a little disappointing. But, um, but you know what? This truck is in great shape. I think for the age, it's in great shape. You know, a few scratches on the back, a couple little dings here. Um, not the end of the world. Well, certainly not the end of the world. And that's one of the things that really attracted me to Duke was how nice the cabin that is. So um, definitely shows that it's a, a low mileage truck as far as on highway. But this is what we got to tackle right now. My little C13 is broken and I couldn't find, um, I couldn't find any um, any holes in the block at the moment. So, you know what? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it just blew the oil all out the uh, dipstick tube. So, hmm. let's get into it and see what we can see. And Dad's on his way over um, to give me a hand again. And I think what I might do is I might, depending how it goes, we're not working on Smoky today because it's <laughs> it was snowing earlier. It's miserable outside. Um, and I might move Stubby over here so we can work on him. So he's away from the motorhome, away from the gas jerry cans on the other side. And then I'll use that bay door for moving cars in and out. Cause I don't know if you follow my other channel, Mike's Garage, but I got a couple Corvettes and they're a little too close to the work or at least the 64 is. So we don't want the 64 getting dinged damaged, scratched, spit on, splurged on, dripped on, whatever on, because it's probably the most expensive thing in here. Wow, it's probably worth the most. Actually, it is worth the most of anything in here, so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get to it, and uh, maybe I'll just start cleaning up a little bit. Maybe I put it under the lift. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll lift Princess up, because I do have to change oil on Princess back prints underneath it and then at least way that way they're at the back of the shop until we figure out what we're going to do so i'm going to get prepared then we'll start delving into this well guys dad's here we're going to pull the head we're not pulling the head anymore <laughs> uh, we started pull well actually i i went to go find a pallet and i found a pallet 
Dad crawled underneath and was looking at it. And let me just show you what we found. Well, actually what he found. I didn't find it. I was looking in the wrong place, apparently. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. There's a hole. There's a hole in my block. I blew it up. Duke Kaboom blew up. So yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty healthy hole. Uh, so. Too bad, really. But yeah. Oh well. Uh, other than that, it looks good. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh, the what? Where's your tools? Are they in the bag and bone slow? No, I brought them all in. I got my little toolbox there and... Oh, this red one? Yeah. Oh. Well, and then the other tools are in the... on the... in the tool cabinet. I'm looking for a 15 sixteenths. Oh, well, there's wrenches in here. Here's the 15 16th, so. So yeah, I guess. I think it's 15 16th. It's no surprise. I knew, uh, you know, in hindsight, when it started to clatter, I should have shut it down. Um, coulda, shoulda, woulda. But um, you know what? Do I get another C13? Um, last time I called the wreckers, I could buy a running C13 for about 7,500 bucks. Um, when I look at a C15, it was anywhere from 15,000 to 25,000 for a running engine. But um, safe to say, Duke Kaboom went boom. So let's call it quality father son time. I thought that'd get a reaction out of them, but no. But um, yeah, so pull the hood, start pulling the radiator, and we're ripping this engine out. And you know what? In all honesty, I think I'd like to find a C15 if I can, because I've got I've got that big transmission. This is an 18 speed as well, but it's a 14. Is it 14 or 1600 foot pounds? I think it's 14. I don't know if it'll tell me in the door jam or probably not. Uh, no, but, um, but yeah, so you know what? The other kicker is if this engine has 30 to 40, it, it's guaranteed it's got somewhere between 30 and 40,000 hours on it. Um, like dad says, the transmission PTO has 30,000 plus hours on it. So anyways, I guess now it's a engine. A re re. Dang it. But hey, look on the bright side. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Like Andrew says, it'd be nice to have some trucks that have engines. But hey, if they all had good engines, they would have cost me a whole bunch more. So. Why don't you slide under and see if there's a tag on the transmission? That's a good idea. See if it was rebuilt, there's a flashlight. I'll just scurry under and see if there was a tag on the transmission.
put the forks right together.
at least the front motor mounts are easy to get to now. Yep. Just pop the fan off, he says. It really... I don't think it'd take that much to get this right out of here, actually. Mind you, I don't know what it's like to pull the transmission off. Undo the bolts. I've never pulled a transmission off. Block it up, undo the bolts, and there you go. Although right about now, I'm thinking a single turbo cat would be a lot nicer than all this, but... Nothing the cubic dollars won't fix. Of course, that's an argument for, uh, I wonder, staying with a C13 or C12. C12s are a good engine. Well, I mean, I, it would be interesting to know how many hours are on there. Yeah. I should um, ask Glenn to look up his old work order and see if he could tell me how many hours it had on it when they Because I knew when I bought this thing, Glenn told me it had a dead hole or a bad hole. Um, and originally I thought, well, maybe I could just do one hole. And against Glenn's better judgment, I drove, tried to drive home. And he didn't think I should. But, you know, low and slow wasn't ready at that time, so. Nobody cost money. Because <laughs> this is so much cheaper. Hmm. Well, yeah. it's uh, like your brother will tell you, lots of times saving a dollar is not the answer. Mind you, it's like Andrea says, part of it is the adventure. And I've never done this before, so it's exciting. Sort of. Stressful. What's this? Is that the power steering pump? I don't know. That's weird. It must be. On my, that red. 430 horsepower. That red Peterbilt of mine, this bracket here broke. Mm-hmm. Because I think they had trouble getting the bolts in. I changed the fan hub and uh, they only put two bolts in instead of four. This housing broke and went through the radiator. But how do you prove anything after the fact you can't so yeah just bite the bullet and don't whine I'm part of trucking what's that say it's part of trucking well it's, it's just it's the not good part of trucking oh yeah that line goes up to the firewall so yeah but it also so here's a question can a person pull the engine off the front of the transmission or do you have to pull the transmission back and then pull the engine out? I don't know. Maybe that's a question for tomorrow. Ask the experts at work. Of course, if we're using the back, well, maybe that's an argument to just leave the transmission hooked up. Oh. Just rip the whole thing out from the front. Gently. You can. Like, I would, well, depending on what motor you put in. Yeah. If you're going to put another C13 in, I just re bearing this one. Because this one is going to need bearings regardless. I would think. Well, I guess I should put this camera down and pull that lower rad hose off. I almost, I almost think a C15 that uses the same motor mount just sits out a little further, mate. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to pull that line off though, because that's that's interesting. All right. 
More work, less talking. Although I really like talking. Now we just need to put a 700 horsepower C16 in it. One more. Radiator might be too small though. It's only money. <gasps> Maybe we could get a sponsor. Are you going? Yeah. Does anybody want to sponsor me? I could use an engine. French George, French Columbia. Oh. Oh well. Now the fun part. Looking for a cheap affordable, good, affordable used engine. If I get a C13, then all we have to do is transfer everything off of this onto it and put well, it back. In lots there. of ways, that would make the most sense. Yeah. Even if you got a short block. And put the head and all the other things on a short block. Then it's a, basically a new engine. If the head is a pooch. I doubt it. But what else you decide it probably didn't hurt the head. I would say, I don't know. I was bound to turn we're gonna wow. Thought we should pull the head off until I got looked a little closer and I can't believe I didn't see that hole and Ma, well, mind you, it was also minus 20 plus and it was cold that day. Yeah. Very cold. On the side of the road. Where's the head on? Right there. And have a new engine. Yeah. Good for another 30,000 hours. Or whatever. Or good enough to tow a step deck to go get more truck parts. Or tow my motor on. This way. Yeah. <laughs> Four, five, six isn't really the best ratio though. Actually the Don't go so fast. See, I figured with four five sixes I put twenty four fives on this because then it's although yeah. Because yeah, the tires are They're junking. Yeah. And if I gotta buy aluminum wheels, I might as well buy twenty four five. Not have to change the studs, yada yada yada. But Smokey has three five fives. So he's actually quite quick, so if I put low pros on him, then it would be no big deal. Or even keep the 22s or... Well, I even thought about putting low pros on the front and leave the 22s on the back. It's got 24s by it, doesn't it? No, it's got 22s. Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's why it sits so low. Oh, okay. No, I just, I wouldn't change this. Four, five, sixes. Well, that's what you had in self loader. No, I had 489s in the self loader. Yeah, 489s, you still got around. Oh, yeah. Actually, we had. Well, this would be the same as the 489s with 11R22s, basically. Yeah. yeah. But I think it would look better with 24s, too. Well, with that ratio, put 24 fives on and 
Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Being as how well, and actually, even with the C13 with that ratio, it would have no problems pulling anything. A little bit. Well, I'd be working hard with Super B work, but I don't plan well, on doing Super B work. Like a lot of it is just don't go so fast. The you only know, other kicker, though, is do I find an engine that's going to make the truck more valuable, or do I put another engine in that's going to be better on fuel? Because in theory, a C13 should be better so on if fuel. If you put a C13 long block in, it would probably be worth more than a C15 used. Yeah. I would think, because if you put a long block in, then you've got a new, basically a new motor, and then get your head done. Yeah. And uh, you've got everything else. I mean, in, in lots of ways, it only makes sense to put a long block in. Yeah, right. If you can find it. Well, that'll be the other problem right now, trying to find stuff. Yep. Oh, well. Alrighty. Yep, I'm gonna run. Thanks for coming. You are welcome. I think I've got everything off the engine um, that I need to pull it out other than undoing the bell housing and disconnecting the transmission from it. All the water lines, all the power lines, all the line lines. So I just have the rear motor mounts, front motor mounts, which I don't have. I need, um, I need some bigger sockets. I need, I need to get some sockets. That's what I need to do. <clears throat> for my impact, might need to get a bigger impact. Um, and I have to decide if I'm gonna take the transmission out with the engine or leave the transmission where it's at and just pull the engine and put it back in. Apparently the clutch isn't that old in this thing, so, um, so that's good. But, um, and the other thing I have to decide, which I don't have to decide right away, is we're pulling the engine out. The front of the frame actually looks pretty good. Dad thinks I should keep it blue and just repaint the backside blue. But I don't know, you know me, I'm not a big fan of blue. I just, I don't know, but it'd be easier. You know, I could put some blue stripes on it. Do I have a blue truck? I mean, maybe. So, but if I got the engine out, that's a perfect time to pull the tanks off and get it sandblasted and painted blue too. Or I mean, pardon me, I mean red. Um, if I want to paint it red, or I could paint it black. Um, sandblast and paint it black and then it's simple or maybe I could find I don't know I don't know let me know in the comments down below what do you think should I paint the frame blue should I change the color should I paint it black should I paint it red and also should I take the transmission out with the engine or leave the transmission in the truck let me know because Lord knows I need all the help I can get and you know what's interesting I think I just found the sockets that I needed oh my gosh this set of sockets. Nope, not that one. Oh my gosh, I am a dingus. This one? <laughs> it's metric, but it fits. Well, you know what? Now I can take the hinges off, put it back on the hood, so. <laughs> I really need to get a proper toolbox. Um, and I really need to take this air breather off because this is ugly. I actually have some stainless steel 13 inch takeoffs that are going on and I'm going to try put one on the other side too if I can. So yeah, let's take this off right now because I don't like it. And let's face it, it's not hooked up to anything anyways. I have to say, it is a little easier working on one of these than a cab over. Mind you, this wouldn't be in the way of... I was working on a cab over because the cab would be okay i retract that what size is that 9 16s or 14 millimeter 14 millimeter just gonna give it a zip zip Q. 
Can I have a zip zip? Oh, oh, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's all rusty behind me. Oh, rusty. It's all rusty. Can't have that. So maybe it's <laughs> maybe it would help if I shine the camera at me or whatever. Yeah, so two of these are a little loose. Um, air filter looks good. Doesn't look like it's been dusted, so that's good. But yeah, that's not going back on. I'm gonna put some nice stainless ones on. Yeah. Although, this looks a little suspect. It's just a little bit of, I don't know if that's residue or, or what. It doesn't look all dusty, but that, that's suspicious. Yeah. And there's your, um, your, uh, your sensor for your restriction gauge. That's the word I was looking for, restriction gauge. Who knew it could be so hard to think of restriction gauge, so. Ah, now I can change. Actually, that one doesn't look that bad. The other side, one of these was buggered, but, um, but yeah, let's see about uh, ah, nice stainless steel cover. I need to put another one on the other side, because like this one, it's good to have one, but how many? One, two, three, four, and then there's a, a bolt through there. It'd be nice if there was a bolt hole in there, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna have to, one, two, three, four, and then in there. So I probably, probably what I'll have to do is drill a hole and uh, there, there, and there, and there, and then get um, one of those big, uh, I was gonna say hot guns, but it's not a hot gun, it's a rib nut whatever, basically like these things where you squish it in. Cause I think it's probably one of those. Yeah. But a big ones. So, so that's what we'll do now. Do I drill out this hole and add dual intakes? Or do I just stick it up against the side and call it good? <laughs> Might be a little bit hokey. Cheaper and easier though. So we'll see. I don't know. It really needs to have two air breathers though. But to cut this hole out seems like a seems like a lot of work. And then of course I'd have to come out here and I got these there, although I could move those. Um then I have to get piping and or I just bolt it on and it's just for looks. Like really, I could just put it on for looks. And if I oh Ooh, I can make a little cooler out of it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what I should do. Do I paint the frame? Do I not paint the frame? Do I pull the tranny out with the engine? Do I not pull the tranny out with the engine? Do I get a C15? Do I just get another C13? Because that would be the easiest, simplest, and probably better on fuel too. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Till the next one. Peace.